Can it's set up, it's set up already. It's set up, leave it alone. No, it's, it's set up. People are going to get better, and in many cases, they're going to get better very quickly. So we have cases all over the place. It's too high. It's too off. It's very, very high. Not like that, but it's too high. Because they get higher up. Other countries, they don't test millions. So up to almost 30 million tests. So when you do a kid with sniffles and they'll say it's uh, coronavirus, and again, we have kids with sniffles and all of a sudden we report a case and they're in no danger whatsoever. So I said to my people, slow the testing down, please. majority many people don't even know they have it they have it or they have sniffles or they have a very minor sign and they recovered same time some people got the sniffles and they didn't even realize they had a problem and they are supposedly immune and then some people don't even know they had it it could be sniffles they have a cold they have the sniffles in some cases they have nothing they have it but they literally don't have anything you know in many cases when you catch this it's very light you don't even know there's a problem sometimes they just get the sniffles Think about this. Yeah, Let's the bells, so put yourself into the future a little bit. Come back to me on camera for just a second. Think about this. How all of these sound bites that we play. You go back or listen to this. Or to explicit history. Being rich. The sound of his voice and the president downplaying a sickness saying that it's equivalent to the sniffles. Just, just think about that. Because sometimes we're just so close to we live in the moment. Think about when we look back, what this is all going to embarrassing. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Here we go. Since the, the virus first uh, hit this country okay, about six months ago, right. more than 3.8 yeah, million like Americans have been in Move. You'll see right now. Move. And more wow. than 60,000 cases are added to that tally every single day. That's why I say when we look back on this, what do we even think? One of the biggest it. debates right now. Is how do we send kids back to school with the virus raging out of control in many states? The president is pushing state and local officials to reopen schools without offering any assurances that kids will be safe. And he's not the only one downplaying the virus. I want you to listen to this. This is Republican governor, the Republican governor of Missouri, Mike Parson. These kids have got to get back to school. They're at the lowest risk possible. And if they do get COVID-19, which they will, and they will when they go to school, they're not going to the hospitals. They're not going to have to send doctors off stage. They're going to go home, and, and they're going to get over it. You cool with that for your kids? Go ahead. Which one? Governor Parson is careful mm. about the danger COVID-19 poses to children. It's important to know that children have died from this disease. And if children become infected, they can potentially pass the virus on to Older adults Boom. Boom. in their Boom. homes who are vulnerable. Huh? This weekend we learned about a study of tens of oh, thousands already. of people. You cheated. And I know they're recording that, you. that no. children under 10 years of age transmit oh, the virus to adults too. However, it says that kids between 10 and 19 can pass on the virus as easily as adults can. Boom. So Telling the Trump administration to get federal troops out of their cities after scenes of unidentified authorities detaining oh. protesters and What would you say if you saw it? Move something, you gotta move one. Oh. Oh. A lot of folks oh. to get everything clean. I tell them it may be your detergent. That's why more dishwasher brands recommend oh, you this one out. with the soaking thing yeah. rinse right. built right in. For sparkling clean dishes the first time. Oh, you became a king? Go ahead. I moved that already. Something fresh after a long commute. No, you can't do that. When your day is just not stop. Go ahead. Cut it. When you king. just need a second for yourself. I just became a king. One day. I didn't do that. With daily harvest. Oh, you got me on that one. Delicious, clean food that's ready when you are, no matter one? what your day holds. You put that one in Daily there? harvest. We Go take ahead. care of food so that food can take care of you.
Go to dailyharvest.com and get no. started today. No, no, because it's blocking it. Summer's scorching. What are you doing? You it's little booger. But for the animals who right, live in these conditions, it can be deadly. Animals who That's mine. Dead, I'll put it back. <laughs> you can move mine. With no access to water or food. And little no protection I'm from my the soil. Okay, go ahead. They're running out of time. And that's why we're out there right now, racing to reach the oh. animals who are trying to block them for one more day. We're just seeing dogs that are <laughs> in these water containers. What most of these dogs need is, is really fluids and, and nutrition. <laughs> help save them by going online or calling this number <laughs> with your gift of just $19 a month. Boom, boom. Your support today means rest. No, you can't do that. Bye bye. 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 So for what? taking action <laughs> in the next 10 minutes, How you do that? we'll send you this free membership. All right, go ahead, with our on. member magazine, a photo of a rescued animal, and this one-of-a-kind Animal Champion t-shirt. Every time I come to one of these properties, I'm struck by the same emotions. I mean, you just think about the lack of care that they have received. You know, it's heartbreaking. Time is running out. And many of these animals who are suffering this summer may not make it. Please what? don't let them yeah, suffer. Your key. Go online or call Do right now. No! no. Let's go on America's deep divide. Boom! Boom! Nucky. I'm Don Lemon. Join me for my new podcast. Silence Boom. is not an option. Listen on Apple Podcasts Boom. or wherever you get uh, your You win. I uh, lost your key. I can't move it no more. Find your get up and go. You won. Find pants. I'm stuck. Can't you beat me? Can't you cheat it three times? Find so. your sense of wonder. Oh, well, mommy has me. The world is new. Again. Ooh. At Chevy. Homegrown strawberry. Why is those orange looking like little mushrooms with little hats? Like pointy hats. They look like that strawberry shortcake. And yet the ones that start all fat and fluffy. Like, what the hell? Why does orange look like they got a hat with a point? Is it good? You want this with me? Now it's time to get out of here. We got mold, we got some grapes. I just washed them. For decades, the kids took some of my tomatoes. Yeah, yeah, that's a whole bunch of them. Oh, I got three. I brought in. Yeah, no, he cheated. He never cheated. Okay, when that... What do you think? I did cheat. You confessed. He confessed. We're done? Yes? Okay, that's so we can't move all the way. to get to them. But there's so many. These are tomatoes. Tomatoes? Oh. Salt? I put a little bit of salt. Park, like, you want me to take the top off? Salt, of course. Go ahead. Go ahead. Washington, D.C. And Kansas City, okay. here's what they write. Open. They say it is unacceptable and chilling that this administration has formed Take and deployed bite. the U.S. Homeland Security Rapid Deployment Unit and Good, is huh? sending federal authorities to conduct crowd control yeah. on city streets. And but detain I individuals. Okay. I come back with more protests in Portland this is good. the weekend, including mm. shocking scenes like this one, like with federal officers savagely beating and Whoa. pepper spraying yeah, a peaceful protesters. Well, really my next big, guest so. is one of the mayors who signed the letter are you for the mayor so? Ted Wheeler. Yeah, yeah. Mayor, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. And I, I know, your son. I mean, you're the cheater. Peace out, everybody. Peace out.